Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, I want to talk about black people agreeing to agree. Not agreeing to disagree, but agreeing to agree. Um, oftentimes, you know, whether you're um, lower class, middle class, upper class, a lot of times we deal with the same thing. Excuse me, the same things, whether it's from racism or, uh, you know, discrimination or just people within our own community stabbing us in the back or cooning to make it harder for us to rise within the country and uh you know oftentimes we get into it with each other because we don't agree on the same methods or way of achieving things in the country or us just having progression within this country and um you know i just did a video towards uh brother domination i believe that's how you pronounce his name and, uh, you know, like I said, it wasn't a beef or anything like that. We just was discussing things. And I was getting off of my chest off as far as where I thought he missed and screwed where I was coming from. But, um, you know, when we look at people like Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, you know, it was a time where, you know, they didn't agree on, on a lot of things. And, you know, I think a lot of times from um, Malcolm X's point of view is that he... You know he would he would make certain comments towards Dr. King because he had a non-violent approach, and I think a lot of times um, the Nation of Islam or Malcolm is he has me, Malcolm X. They took that as if he was not going to be aggressive and getting things done. He, he they took it as if because he was he was taking a non-violent approach or he wouldn't defend himself back against brutality, he was basically staying complacent. And, and that was absolutely incorrect. But it was just them two having the same common gro goal, but not the same method in how they were going to approach it. And a lot of times that's what we have, you know, in our community. We have people who, you know, we want to grow as a people in America. We want to have economical growth. We want to... Um, demise racism you know if we can i don't think racism will ever go away but if we can demise it or um if we can put certain policies into tact that minimize racism and discrimination that's the key and a lot of times we have we all deal with the same inf uh same situations and we don't agree on everything and, and what happens in the midst of that is that we go after each other or you know, you got people that start calling each other names and or, you know, attacking each other personally. When really at the end of the day, we have the same common goal. And I can relate it to um, two brothers right now. I don't know if you guys check out um, uh, Brother Polite and Malik Shabazz. They just had a um, pretty much a debate, you know, a square off verbally, not physically, but a square off in uh, Harlem at the Harlem Ballroom. And, you know, they basically had two different point of views of how to better our people and how we should go about changing things for ourselves and, and, and for the progression of our overall people. And, you know, they squared it off. Brother Polite said what he had to say. Um, Malik Shabazz said what he had to say. All in all, my personal, you know, um, review of it is... I like where Brother Polite was coming from because I, I think he took more of a, um, uh, I would say, a responsibility approach on our point of view. Because I think a lot of times, you know, we, even though we have white supremacy and, and we have people that are in power that keep us as a permanent underclass, a lot of times we don't understand our capability. And a lot of times we try to excuse the power that we have. And say, okay, look at the white man. Look at what this white person is doing over here. Look at this and look at that. We don't look at ourselves and say, you know what? We do have power. We can come together and better ourselves. And so I, I really was leaning towards what he was saying. But then, you know, Malisha Bass had some valid points too. But, you know, just taking that as a point of view, you know, a lot of times we don't know how to agree to agree. And when I say that, I'm talking about... You might have one way of thinking, I might have another way of thinking, but our common goal at the end of the day is for the progression of our people. So when you have those type of situations, you should you should be able you should be mature enough and have enough common sense to say, you know what, 
I might not agree on what you're saying about this, or you might not agree with what I'm saying, or um, just our overall overall tactic of approaching the situation. But you know what? The common ground is that we want better for our people. So let's meet somewhere in the common ground or join each other. You you got your organization, I got my organization. You got your people, I got my people, and let's love each other let's come together let's put our ideas together for the common goal and a lot of times we don't know how to agree to agree you can't always agree to disagree because a lot of times with that method you're just left with nothing if you got your way of doing things and you doing your thing separate and i'm doing my thing separate yeah there might be some progression but at the same time it wouldn't be as powerful as if we would both come together and change things so that's just basically what I want to talk about and as far as you know people disagreeing with people out here and you know maybe taking things the wrong way and you know even with uh, you know brother Tommy Sotomayor you know I don't agree with everything he says you know or the way he goes about doing it but at the same time I understand a lot of the things that he said I understand where he's coming from and then there's times where I think he's completely out of line but at the same time I understand what, what what's the message that that brother is trying to convey you know, through his, his radio station or what he's doing here on YouTube. I understand where he's coming from. And a lot of times, you know, we just don't sit back and we don't um, analyze just where somebody's coming from. We don't, you know, just keep our mouth closed and listen to what people are saying. But, you know, I just want to do this video because I think we have to learn how to do that. We have to learn how to agree to agree. You know, and, and you know, if there's something that we can agree on come to a common ground because it's time for us to start coming together you know stop all the self-hate stop talking about weeds and shit or you know uh downgrading the black man or the, or, the, or the black woman or getting on national tv downgrading our people putting our uh dirty laundry out to the public nobody does that except the black community i think it's time for us to stop doing that it's time for us to, to unite and get back to those ground roots that we had Back, you know, when we had to sit on the back of the bus or we couldn't eat in a certain place or our children couldn't, you know, uh, have the opportunity for a, 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 a better education. It's time to get back to those rules because I think, you know, we've somewhat came up and we've forgotten where we come from. And it's just lack of people knowing their history and lack of appreciation. But that's pretty much what I want to say. Uh, I'm out, y'all. You guys can give me your feedback if you want. Peace.